A lot of students and researchers have their data already entered in Excel spreadsheet after data collection and they want to move it into SPSS for data analysis. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a super easy way to do this. So we are going to be using this data that was entered into an Excel spreadsheet. Okay. The data was obtained from original research to determine the level of satisfaction of patients with services received at the outpatient department of Amado Bello University Teaching Hospital, Nigeria. To import this data into SPSS, we are going to use the import data menu, right? It's a menu item, but this can be found under the file menu tab. So we click on file, then import data. Here you can see that SPSS can accommodate data from various software such as SAS, Lotus, ETC. But today we are going to be dealing with Excel. So we just click on Excel. Now, in the dialog box that pops up, right, we go and select our file. So you look for your file and select that file. Then we click on open. Now, this brings up this other dialog box. This other dialog box is called the read Excel file box. Check off to remove leading and trailing spaces from the string values. Now, this is important because sometimes if you are importing data from a mobile data collection software like ODK or Kobo Toolbox, you may have string variables that have spaces in the beginning or even some have spaces at the end. It will really be nice to remove these spaces so that it doesn't get affected by the naming convention for SPSS variables, all right? So if you want to learn more about the naming convention, check out this video on my beginner's guide to SPSS, okay? Now, you can see a small preview of how the data is going to um, appear in SPSS down here. Now, the preview displays only the first 200 rows and 500 columns. Once you are through with these settings, just click on OK, and voila, congratulations. Now you have your data in SPSS, and you can go ahead and clean and run any form of analysis you like, but not so fast. Don't forget to save, right? And once you save, you're good to go. That's all I have for you today. In my next video, God willing, I am going to show you a super easy way to import data from Kobo Toolbox into SPSS for analysis. Now, if you found this video useful, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues and friends so as to help them improve their research skills. You don't know who you may just be saving, you know? If you want to see more videos like this in the nearest future, hit the subscribe button and click on all notifications. This way, you will get a notification anytime I drop any of my new and amazing content. Also, you can check out my other amazing channels where I have tons and tons of amazing content. Lastly, if you want to see me create any SPSS video like this in future, leave a comment below and I'll add it to the videos that I want to make. All right, that's all I have for you folks and I hope you enjoyed every bit of it. Hope to see you in my next video but until then, peace.